Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Kermit, and welcome to episode 20 on the Cube Evolution. My goodness, we have a lot to do today. My goodness, my goodness. So many things planned. We've actually been procrastinating a lot this uh, these past couple of days on doing a lot of things that need to get done on the Cube Evolution server. And uh, we, I think, I think this episode is going to be dedicated to doing a couple of different little projects. So we're going to be jumping around all over the place. So hopefully you guys can can stay tuned and kind of stay along with what I'm talking about. I might be rambling. I don't even know. This is actually like my freaking twentieth time trying to record. I keep jumping over my sentences, but who freaking cares? We're gonna freaking do it anyway. <sighs> all right, let's get started. So first thing I want to show you guys is this little thing I just got finished building. Uh, we just finished setting up some Ender tanks. Let's head on into here, into my new mob essence farm. We've got ourselves a couple of little skeleton farms up there, if you can see. There's one, there's two, there's three, and you can see there's four. Ah uh, yes, we got four little skeleton spawners in here. Um, they will basically almost always be spawning things, because I spend so much time up in my little storage room, and most of the time I'm kind of just standing around doing nothing, because I... I just get bored, or I get distracted, or... Yeah, so I leave my guy AFK around here a lot, so... Hopefully we can get a lot of good stuff out of this little farm thingamajigger. But the main thing I'm after is the mob essence. Um, I want to create auto spawners on the go. I want to be able to create an auto spawner without having to set up some massive thing like I do downstairs with the whole mob trap, the whole freaking tube set up underground. It's it's messy and quite quite frankly it's unnecessary. We do not have to have any tubes in this situation right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna explain it. So what I've got going on is I've got just basic little mob grinder set up. I've got a little battery up here. I've got a little chest to gather up all of the goodies that come from the skeletons. But down here we've got a little special block. We have got ourselves an ender tank. And an ender tank works the same way as an ender chest, but with liquids. And you can personalize it to kind of work on your own individual channel so that other people don't just, you know, take all your mob goo. They don't, that's not cool, man. Don't take my mob goo. No mob goo for you. Mob goo for me. My mob goo. Yeah. Alrighty, so this thing is gathering up some mob essence. As you guys can see, it has got a little bit in there. Look at that. A little bit of mob essence. Yeah, I actually don't know, like how much an actual ender tank can hold. Let's actually look it up. Um, can I look it up? I can't look it up. I don't even know. I don't even freaking know. But we've got ourselves an ender tank down there, and we have got an ender tank over here. And as you can see, they both have the same amount of mob essence in them. That is because they're basically one and the same tank, except in different locations. Oh, oh. But if we just turn this bad boy around, this little clock thing a jigger, it should drain all the mob essence into there. Turn that back. And now, if we check on over here, that one is empty too. My goodness, guys. It's freaking magic. Holy moly. So, this can be very, very useful to a frog in need. Uh, I want to create an auto spawner. Mainly because back up here, as you guys might know from my last episode, we encountered a couple of different problems. Ah, uh, man. Well, alrighty, so last episode, we uh, we attempted to create ourselves a Magician's Blood Orb, and it did not go as planned. Uh, the main problem I was having was getting enough mob essence into the altar. I was trying to set it up with like a little tank system and a little pipe system, but I'm pretty sure the blood altar can't actually receive blood. All it can do is, um, like, give it out, you know? So what we're gonna do is we are going to hopefully auto spawn ourselves or spawn ourselves just a bunch of villagers. Cause the little birdie told me that villagers give you a decent amount of life essence when they are sacrificed. And the trick to doing this, to getting ourselves 25,000 life points is to just fill this room up with a whole bunch of mobs and to sacrifice them while the gold block is getting transmuted. So that way it is like receiving and getting mob essence or life essence all at the same time. And hopefully that will be the key to success. Huzzah. So we're gonna go craft ourselves an auto spawner and hopefully we can get this thing hooked up to run and spawn ourselves some villagers. Cause we got some sacrificing to do. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. So I don't know if I've told you guys this yet, but I am kind of abandoning this area. I'm kind of just moving everything that's down here upstairs and making it more efficient. So we're just going to grab this auto spawner. As you can see, I've already like stolen most of the pipes down here because I needed them earlier. Uh, we're gonna, going to get ourselves a villager, which is over here. I'm pretty sure I got a couple in here, actually. Yeah, we'll just grab this guy. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so let's head on back upstairs. We, all we need is an energy cell. What, do we have one in here? No, I don't think we do. I don't think we freaking do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get our uh, golden bag of goodies. Let's actually just shoot ourselves a little portal and get out of here. I like this. Like this. Woo! Alrighty. Goodness gracious, this portal gun is amazing. Okay, let's actually get our wrench. Let's get ourselves a battery, and then we should be good to go. I've got ourselves an ender tank, an auto spawner. Yep, all that's missing is the battery component. Let's just go on upstairs, grab our last little battery friend, and let's fly on over to our blood altar. So hopefully this freaking works. My goodness. My goodness. This has been a pain in the booty. This has been one of the worst projects I've ever worked on in the history of Minecraft. Not really. I don't think it's that bad. Let's just place on a couple torches. Light this place up. I don't want any zombies to come in here to murder my villager friends. Alrighty, I think we are ready to set this up. Let's just grab this. Let's block on that. Okay, let's just place down. Okay. Whew. Whew, I'm excited. Wish me luck. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, we're freaking screwed because I'm running out of ideas here. <sighs> okay, auto spawner, battery. Hopefully this can get charging. Let's just put that. Oh, maybe we should get a better battery, actually. Yeah, let's get a better battery. All right, let's just place that there. This should definitely provide enough power for us. Yep, yep, getting powered up. Let's just hopefully, I'm pretty sure if we just, ooh, ah, I don't know, man. I don't know, hopefully this works. Um, I might have to hook up some, some like, um, freaking fluid ducts or something, because I don't know if it'll actually go in there. Yeah, let's actually try to put it on top. Hopefully this works. Come on, oh, what the heck? What the F? What the F? Come on, baby, work. Here we go. Bloop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that is freaking filling up. That's got power. Nice. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to uh, place the villager into here. And I know it's only going to spawn a couple of them. Let's actually see how much each villager costs when it comes to mob essence. Oh, one villager cast. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Hello, friends. Welcome to the party. Yes, we've got nice and snacks. Actually, we don't have any snacks. I'm sorry. You guys will have to die a little hungry today. Yep, yep. How much? Oh, man. This actually might be enough to get us going. Okay, but the main idea is that even though um, this, the ender tank itself, does not hold that much, we can come on down here. Do I have a bucket? I do have a bucket. We can come on down here, grab ourselves a bucket, and just, like, freaking grab it out of this. Grab a, grab a couple buckets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then freaking put it back in the essence tank. Oh, wait. Oh, what the heck? Where did my buckets go? What the heck? That is some freaking crap. I had five buckets. Wow. All righty. Well, yeah, you guys get the idea. We can always just freaking grab a bucket, put it back in there. And what that will do is that will put essence back into the ender tank up at the blood altar, which is then fueling the auto spotter. Ah! Yes, we have got ourselves a sweet system down, I'm pretty sure. I am very happy with this. Hello, friends. Hello. Everybody getting comfortable? I hope so. I hope so. Oh, there's my buckets. Nice. All right, well, we can just put them in, into this little ender tank right here. Maybe we can just right click this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. Let's get that going. Hot diggity dog. Okay. Everybody spawning? Everybody spawning. Nice. Yeah. Come on. I think we're just going to wait out a little bit more. Get myself up a couple more. Actually, I think this is enough. How much uh, life essence do I have in here? Let's check it out. To get ourselves our blood magic bag of goodies. Let's actually put away some of this stuff. That goes in there. And that's about it. Maybe that goes in there too. Yeah. Okay. Let's put that up there. Let's get ourselves our divination sigil. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got 10,000 life points in here. 
Hopefully, with all these guys up in this business, we can get this thing going. Let's go get ourselves a gold block. My goodness, freaking Magician's Blood Orb, here we come. So the reason why I'm wanting this so badly, like usually if it wasn't, if, there, if it was anything else, I would have given up already. I'd be like, you know what, man? I don't need it that bad. We can go focus on other things. But, my God, the Apprentice, the Magician's Blood Orb opens up basically everything in the mod. Like, I know we can craft ourselves a couple cool sigils, and we can craft ourselves, you know, basic ass crap. But when it comes to the majority of what is in the Blood Magic mod, it's basically all unlocked at level 3. Level 4 and 5, they unlock a couple cool things, but uh, nothing we're really interested in. So this is what we're after. We are after our, our Magician's Blood Orb. Okay, so I'm going to place this bad boy in here. It's going to instantly start to drain out the life essence. And while it drains out the life essence, my job will be to fill it up so that it never reaches zero. And so that enough mob essence or life essence drains into this block of gold. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to put that bad boy in there. As you guys can see, it is draining out, going down to zero. But before that happens, let's slay ourselves a couple of fools right here. hi -ya! And it should be back up at 9,000. That's what I like to see. So we're going to keep on doing this. Keep on dying, everybody. Yeah. Okay, what is that now? Okay, we're going to keep it above 5,000. So we're actually just going to probably turn this bad boy off. I don't think we need any more villagers up here. <laughs> it's getting a little crowded, in my opinion. All right, it's getting low. It's getting low. Come on, everybody dying. Everybody dying. I need, I need your blood. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not that sorry. Here we go. 9,000, 9,000. Okay, we're doing it. We're freaking doing it. I believe. I believe. We're almost there. Go, friend. You're dying for a good cause. There you go. Come on. What's that? What's that? 8,000, 8,000. Nice, 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 nice. Let's just keep on going. I, I don't think I'm ever going to stop killing villagers until I freaking see my magician's blood orb. Because I don't want... Oh! Yes! Victory is mine! Take that, freaking poop heads! Yeah! Oh, we got ourselves a Magician's Blood Orb. Let's see what we can craft with this bad boy. We got 10 pages of goodies to do. Whew. Alrighty, so these are runes. Uh, oh, Master Ritual Stone. Master Ritual Stone. This will let us craft ourselves up the rituals I was talking about yesterday. My goodness, sigils of holding. Oh, man. We're going to make ourselves that as well. Soul Armor Forge. What? Holy moly. So as you guys can see, things get a little more intense once you get to the third altar. This, I'm pretty sure this is used to freaking summon demons. Yeah, I said that right. You can summon a demon, slay it, and make him your little pet. Yeah, make him your pet. Your nice friend, your nice friendly pet. <laughs> Alrighty, well we are going, we're going to take a break from the blood magic stuff like I said before. Now that we've got this, I'm going to be working with it off screen. I'm going to be making some cool stuff. And then maybe in a couple episodes, we can pop back into it. But, yeah, nice. We are done with that bad boy. Let's just pop that in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Stores for all life essence. Alrighty, well, now that we have crafted up our Magician's Blood Orb, I'm going to head on downstairs to my Magical Crops Farm. My empty and naked magical crops farm i have not really been um active in growing my crops for a while now mainly because i've i haven't really had a need to i've i've had all the resources i've been growing a bunch of diamonds a bunch of gold a bunch of iron a bunch of obsidian i got some glowstone ender essence xp essence nether essence <gasps> redstone essence we got fire essence air essence this is going to be earth water this is dye essence i don't know what that's going to be yet i don't know what oh this is going to be Skeleton Essence, Creeper Essence, and with the Skeleton Essence. So, we've got most of the good stuff. we still got a couple things that I want to grow, such as mm, Blaze Essence. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do Blaze Essence. For, for most of the farms, I actually probably won't even be growing Skeleton Essence anymore. For most of the things that I can farm, like in other ways, such as the Skeleton Farm I have right on upstairs, or... Uh, for example, like redstone, like I could easily get a bunch of redstone pretty, pretty quickly. Um, if I were to just travel to the Twilight Forest. So I don't know how much redstone we're going to be growing. Um, also I've already grown a crap ton of redstone. I have so much redstone in my chest. 
<sighs> but anyway, what brings us down here today is one, the need for a couple of, for a couple new seeds, for a couple new crops, and the need for kind of a more automated system. And third thing, we need to sort everything. We are going to be setting up, I think actually the main thing we're going to be doing is uh, setting up a sorting system uh, so that every time a seed pops into here, it will get sucked out of this chest and put into the corresponding one over here. I want to do this just because it would be very, very organized. And as you guys know, that I, I, I love being organized. It's just so clean and efficient and makes things easier. And that, that is the true key. That's honestly what I really like. I really like things easier. I like to make things easier. And this is just one of the few steps we can do to do that. So I'm going to go grab myself some item ducks. And I will actually, we can just walk it upstairs. Craft ourselves some item ducks. Should not be that big of a problem. We also got to make ourselves something called a pneumatic servo. I'm pretty sure if I just come on down here and like right click on this thing. A pneumatic server must be installed for control. Well then, let's go craft ourselves up some pneumatic servers because we want to be in control of said pipes. Let's see here. How do we create those new... No, what? Pneumatic servos. Oh yeah. So we just need glass, some iron, and some redstone. Once again, I will show you guys. I've got a, just a little bit of redstone here. Just a little bit. Yeah. So I accidentally left my redstone farm going for a while. And yeah, we've got a couple of blocks of redstone, a couple of stacks of redstone. We should be set for a while. Um, I've also got a ton of iron. We actually really do not need that much. What else do we need? Glass. I think I got some glass in here. Oh yeah, we are good to go. Give me that. Okay, we're just going to get ourselves just a whole bunch of pneumatic servos. I don't know how much exactly we're going to need, but I don't want to run out. Okay, glass, iron. Looks good, looks good. Ooh, actually, nice! It says I can use this glass, which is awesome because I don't want it in my inventory, in my box anymore. It's kind of annoying. Okay, actually, I have to get a couple more stacks of iron we'll go like this we'll go for a stack of 64 because why the freak not there you go 64 pneumatic servos for me oh yeah so these are going to be very very helpful in the sorting system what these can do is these can add like a filter onto whatever pipe you put it on whether it be an energy i don't know if it works on energy pipes whether it be a fluid pipe or an item pipe i am Pretty sure let's eat some chicken. Mm -mm -mm, chicken. Actually, let's get ourselves some magical food. Eating magical food is actually like a lot quicker. Like, ah, oh, it doesn't take as long to digest. That is nice. Okay, let's put the glass back. Let's head on downstairs. Oh no 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 no! Before we do that, we need some item pipes. Yes, item ducks. Let's do this. What impulse? What the heck is this? What the heck? Whoa! Oh, look at this! So I think these transfers item quickly. Yep, all right, that's pretty sweet. We might make ourselves a couple of those. Uh, nah, not really. I don't think there's much of a need. Okay, we're just gonna get ourselves tin lead. Do I have some tin? I think I'm running out of tin. Oh, look, item ducks. Hmm, do I have tin? Tin, please. Please, tin. Let's get rid of this. I don't think I have any tin. Dang it. Dang it. Poop. Crap. Okay, I gotta go find some tin. My goodness. This is gonna be a bigger project than I thought. All right, let's go head on into the twilight forest. We're gonna go dive into a hollow hill and grab up as much tin as I can find in a little bit amount of time. Whee! Ow! Ow! Fuck you! Stupid bugs! Alrighty, so we are just going to hop on over... Hip hop on over to this big bad boy over here, which I'm pretty sure I've lit all up by now. Um, I spent a little bit amount of time... A little bit amount of time, does that make sense? <laughs> um, lighting this entire place up just so that I could come back to it whenever I wanted to and gather up 
all of the goodies. So uh, yeah, 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 sweet. It's all lit up. Hopefully nothing should be spawning, or not much should be spawning. Of course, there'll be a couple little guys every now and then. A couple little guys, not a big problem. Um, but yeah, so this thing is freaking awesome. Look at this. Ah, hopefully we should find some tin right here. Oh yeah. I'll just take that. And I do have Silk Touch. I have discovered that Fortune 3 is meaningless when it comes to gathering up ores. Um, even redstone, like, you want to still touch redstone. Let's just grab a couple of these. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Let's just grab a couple of these bad boys. Um, let's find myself some more tin. Hello, kitty. I'm looking for some tin. Would you like to help me? No? Wow. Alright, fine. God. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Welcome to the world of Minecraft. How are you doing today? Good? You're doing good? He wants outside. So, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but my cat recently got neutered, uh, actually six days ago. And, uh, you have to keep him inside, because if he goes outside, then his his balls could rip open and get infected. And that's that's not good. But unfortunately, uh, my cat is an inside, or he's an outside cat. Like, he goes outside whenever the fuck he wants to. That is how I have raised him. I have raised my cat to be a free-spirited being. And unfortunately, he's being a free-spirited being all over my desk right now. And that's not happy. That is not happy at all. Okay, how much tin do we got? We got 20 tin already. That is awesome. Um, do we need anything else? Is there, like, some lead around here? We might be running out of lead soon. Some lapis. Oh, there's some lead. I'll take that. Oh, wait. Was there one more? There was one more. Hello, friend. I'm trying to get some lead. Don't mind me. Don't mi Ooh, silver? I'll take all of these. Good stuff. Alright, so I think we're just gonna hip hop on out of here. Um, let's see, is there anything in this chest? I think I got Naga Scale. Hmm, I think I left a couple things in the chest. Let's see here. Whoa! Yeah, look at this! Transformation power. This is kind of fun. Uh, what you can do with this is you can turn uh, normal vanilla overworld mobs into their Twilight Forest counterpart. And uh, I'll have to kind of visually explain that. It's a little easier to show you than it is to talk about it. Ooh, nice little amount of lead. Alright, so that's what I like to... Ooh, let's break that bad boy. Okay, we're almost about done in here. I'm just gonna gather up the last bit of goodies. I will meet you guys back in the overworld. Yeah. Oh yeah, we are back home. So we are going to show you guys why Silk Touch is absolutely amazing. So usually, here, let's actually let's actually see here. Let's go and get my Fortune 3 pickaxe. And let's see how much redstone we get from breaking one redstone ore. Give me that. Give me that. Mine. I really... Oh, it's so annoying when the freaking item frame pops off. My goodness, man. 1.6.4. Jesus Christ. All right, my pickaxe is all the way over here. That's awesome. Okay, one redstone. Do we have any redstone? Let's just put this redstone away. I want to get an accurate, uh, I want to get an accurate freaking thing here. Let's go. One redstone ore with fortune three down on the bottom there. Here we go. All right, okay. All right, okay. We got, we got six redstone. That's pretty good. It's not bad, but can we do better? My friends, we can. We can get eight redstone out of every single redstone block 100% of the time. If we just plop it into the pulverizer here. Um, I'm not going to plop it into the pulverizer. Once again, I really have no need for redstone. I just wanted to show you guys that the pulverizer is your friend. <laughs> he loves you, and you, in turn, should love him. You guys will have a beautiful relationship together. <laughs> oh, I cry every time. Okay, so anyway, we're just going to plop on my, uh, my lead... And some tin in here. Let's actually take... Ooh, there's so much gold and stuff in the way. Okay, let's just... Uh, no, we need tin. Let's go tin first. Alright, give me some tin. We'll put the lead in there. That'll cook up eventually. Got some nice fares. A whole bunch of lead is still cooking. My goodness. How much lead is even in there? Or how much iron? Pfft, Jesus Christ. Look at all this crap. Alrighty, well... We're going to wait for the tin to cook, and I will see you guys back in a second. We got some item ducks to make. 
All right, while our uh, tin and lead are being cooked up, I want to show you guys what this transformation powder does. So, uh, most of the main mobs inside the Twilight Forest are kind of just tweaked variations of overworld mobs. Now, I don't know if the pig will actually work, but we're going to sprinkle some transformation powder on him and see what freaking happens. There you go, little piggy. Whoa! Oh! We got ourselves a little boar! Hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> So I'm just gonna leave this guy hanging out. Um, I don't know if he'll despawn or not, but Yeah, basically the transformation powder will transform uh, Most of the basic mobs now. I know um, I, I don't think you can get like birds and stuff out of any of the mods, but I know like chickens turn into roosters um, I think zombie pigmen turn into uh, minotaurs. I want to say zombies turn into something um but yeah, you guys get the idea. Cows turn into deer, I think. Um, that's pretty fun. It should be good stuff. I'll just probably keep this in a nice, safe place and mess around with it when the time calls. Alrighty, so hopefully we should have ourselves some tin up here. That should be enough to get us started. We got a little bit of lead in here as well. Alrighty, let's get this freaking going, shall we? Lead on that side. Tin on that side. And boom, shaka freaking laka. Let's put all this stuff in there. We don't need any of that crap. Let's put all that in there. Okay, let's head on downstairs. Uh, let's drop off some more stuff. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now that we are down here, this thing isn't running. I don't have any seeds in my planter. So, I'll probably put seeds in there in a little bit. But first things first, we gotta hook up all of our item ducks to the chest. So I think we're just gonna be popping out this wall back here. Um, this is my old storage room, or my old battery charger room. Um, it's still kind of here. Don't know what to do with it yet. I might cover it up again. <laughs> but let's just pop up this wall back. Let's actually pop this wall back a little bit as well. And then we can kind of put the item ducks back here. We can make it all look pretty once it is actual, actually functioning. So that is our that is our top priority, is getting it to function. Um, hmm... There's a lot of little pipes in the way. Oops. Did I break something? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me get my wrench out. Let's mess around with a couple of things. Alright, first things first, we're going to move this battery and this stuff out of the way. Let's just grab all that goodies. All them goodies. Okay, so this is the harvester. This is where, you know, all the things will be gathered up and be put into this chest. So this is our main kind of, this is our starting point right here. So with that being said, how should the pipes go? Should they go off to the side and around? I think that's probably the best bet. Yeah, let's eat some food. About to start. About to start off. Let's see here, I think we're just gonna go around. I think we might as well make this fairly simple to begin with. And then as my knowledge and capabilities increase, we can tinker around with it and make it more complicated. Once I when, once I feel complicated, once I feel comfortable doing so. Pfft. Jesus, Murphy. Okay, so let's just bring this round back all the way. We're just gonna connect it to basically every single chest. Um, yeah, like this. And we should just be able to bring it back like this. And then, I guess we could just, instead of having to have the center pipe, we could just create two pipes on the top and the bottom. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Break pipes. Let's go break. Let's go like this. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to lay them all down. Ain't nothing but a thing. Ain't nothing but a thing. Okay. So right now, it is just a fairly basic item uh, moving pipe. Like, it doesn't do any sorting right now. I mean, it kind of does do sorting because... I've set up the chests so that, you know, nothing can be put into this chest except for iron essence and iron seeds, and nothing could possibly be put in this chest except obsidian essence and obsidian seeds. But that's not good enough. That is too, that's too vanilla. That's too, it's too basic. We are going to be adding some pneumatic servos onto here just because we can. I want to have a little bit of fun with these things. So what these things will do is if I just right click on that bad boy, a pneumatic server has been installed. We're going to take ourselves one seed and one essence. 
let's just right click on maybe right click with an open hand like this oh yeah oh yeah so we are just going to put that in there and that in there of course we actually keep the wither skeleton and wither seeds i don't know yeah you don't actually put it in there it just kind of reads it and whatnot all right so i think blacklist whitelist so i'm pretty sure it will only allow wither skeletons wither skeletons essence and wither skeleton seeds in there i'm pretty sure once again guys i'm i'm still in the learning phase i'm learning with you I hope this works. This should work. So we're going to install all of these pneumatic servos onto here. I don't know if we're going to be... We'll probably just put like a uh, cobblestone or something on the empty chest for now. Just so that they don't get filled up with some... Just so that the items don't get mixed up in between the chests. Um, so I will see you guys in just a second. While I was setting up the item ducts, I noticed an unusual amount of uh, scuffling upstairs. And yeah, for some reason the grinder just stopped working. It just it just stuck on idle mode. What the heck? This still has a bunch of energy. That's not full. Maybe this chest is full. Oh my lord! Huh. What in the world? We have so much crap already. Wow, look at all those freaking bows. Ugh, what a pain in the booty hole. Do I have any good things? One breaking, power two, punch, power. What a bunch of crap! We got a bunch of arrows though, that's kind of nice. Ah, oh, that's so poopy. So yeah, I might actually have to set up like a, some sort of item sorting system for this thing, huh? Yeah, we could do that. It'd be kind of fun. All right, let's actually, let's fix this. We need to fix this before it freaking gets out of hand here. Oh man, we got so many bows. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, it's running again for now. I will definitely have to set up some sort of system on here to stop from getting clogged up because it's literally only been running for like a day and it's already full. And this is probably only going to last maybe another couple hours before it gets full and it stops working again. That's not going to be fun. So I might have to tinker with that in a little bit. But for the most part, we have all the pneumatic servos installed. I don't think all of them are filtered up yet. <sighs> yeah, okay, let me finish doing this. This is just kind of taking some time. I got to go through every single one and put the goodies inside of it. This one was the one I was doing. There you go. There you go. All righty. Okay, I just set up all the pneumatic servos, and I've just changed this tube into the, uh, the, oh, or the clearer one, so that I, I can see the items going. So we're just going to get rid of these, because we don't need them. No, no, no. Then we turn this one on, and then I'm pretty sure, instead of having to use a redstone signal, we could just plop that bad boy on there, go to this, go to the enabled redstone thingy, change it to low, and it should be on. Look at that. Oh yeah. No redstone signal needed and no siree. Okay, we actually still have this battery here. So we're going to take this and put him uh, right here. Right next to him. So that way that little corner does not need to be there. Boop. Okay, let's make sure it is giving out energy to the left and to the bottom. Which I do believe is correct. Let's just go down there and check. Is that orange? It is orange. Hooray! Hooray! Everybody's winning! Alrighty, so everything should be hooked up. All the pneumatic servos are installed. My goodness, guys, we gotta put this to the test. We're gonna put it to the test with a couple of these guys. We're gonna take um, all of these seeds. Let's actually just take all that. Let's take all these. So these chests are completely empty. Normally, in vanilla Minecraft, since this isn't set up, it would just get filled with anything that want, that it wants to put in there. So we are going to yeah, let's take all this as well. Let's just take all the stuff from the top. Yeah, why not? No, I think that's good. So hopefully, if I just put all these things in there. Yeah? Yeah? They start to be taken away. So the fire, so the air seeds should go here. Now, if this isn't set up correctly, they will all go into the first chest available, which is this one. 
Oh man, here we go. Here we go. Come on, please don't go in there. Please go in here. Come on. Oh. Oh, oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. So I think what is going on here is if I right click on this. So I think it's blacklist in it. I think we should change it to whitelist. Hmm. Come on, right click. Yeah, yeah. So that's. Oh, what the heck? Why is that going in there now? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So that's what was going on. These are all blacklisting all the items. We want to whitelist all of those items. So let's take this out. Let's try this again. Let me go back there. Let me configure my servos. And let's try it one more time. All right, so once again, guys, make sure, I just wanted to show you guys, make sure it's, they are all whitelisting it instead of blacklisting it. And uh, this is this is an empty chest. That's why you got the cobblestone there. And I'm pretty sure the cobblestone or the dye essence. Cobblestone? Cobblestone. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we are just whitelisting everything. And then we should be good to go. All right, let's try this one more time. Let's get the air seeds. Oh, my magical food. And the fire seeds, the fire essence, dye stuff. Uh, my magical food again. Why did I put that in there? Dang it. Okay, here we go. So the hopefully, now, air seeds should go in here. Fire seeds should go in here. I do believe dye seeds should go in here. And yeah, hopefully they will all be going to the right place. Eventually, I will um, change these pipes into clear pipes. I just didn't want to make myself a whole bunch of hardened glass at the moment. So yeah, fire seeds. You got the air essence going in there. Let's see, dye seeds. Oh yeah, it's working guys. That is pretty freaking fantastic. I might upgrade these to diamond chests. Um, honestly, I don't really think I have a need to. Um, one double, double chest size inventory will uh, probably suit all of my needs, except for a couple of things such as the iron. I might make these ones diamond chests as well. Alrighty, well yeah, that is freaking done. We've got ourselves an item sorting system, or our, basically a farm sorting system, which is pretty freaking sweet. So, next challenge that I have in mind is figuring out how to, instead of putting all the seeds in there, how to filter all the seeds to just automatically feed back into the planter. I think that's the next thing I want to work on, but for now, we have completed this task. Let's go on upstairs and work on the next one. Ah, looking good. Looking freaking good. Yes. So, uh, I know I've seen a couple of comments from people asking me to do some building on screen. And I would love to do some building on screen. I just, uh, I really don't know how to commentate while building. Like, if you guys, if you guys really, really want to watch like 10 minutes of me placing a couple blocks, sitting there looking at it, trying to decide if it looks good, placing a couple more blocks, standing back, taking 10 more minutes to figure out if that looks good, and doing it again, because that's how I build. Like, I build one little thing over a long period of time, and I don't really know if I'm ever going to uh, be able to build what, and commentate at the same time. That skill just might not ever be acquired by the frog. Maybe someday, maybe someday. I don't want to say never. Never say never, right, huh? Yeah, guys? Okay. So, with that being said, um, I don't think we are going to do any building today, unfortunately. I tried a couple times. I've tried to record it, and it just does not go very well. It is just kind of boring, and it's just bad. It's bad. Ugh. But anyway, we are going to do something a little bit more fun, in my mind. Hopefully in you guys' mind as well. We're going to be doing... Our first prank. Yeah? Our first freaking prank? <laughs> we are going to be setting up... We're going to be... I, nah, I don't want to give it away yet. We, we're going to be having some fun with uh, with the auto spawners. Hmm? I think I think we're going to have some fun with this. Alrighty, so let's get ourselves a battery. I've already got the auto spawner and the ender tank in my bag of goodies here. I got so many goodies in here. Look at this. <laughs> I love this. My golden bag of goodies. It's great. Okay, so we're gonna hop on upstairs, get ourselves a little battery majigger, and I will meet you guys over at our victim's place. Oh, so luckily, 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 I was just about to fly on over there, but I almost forgot. 
I almost forgot about our wonderful ender chest with all these amazing... What the heck? Why are there two spawn things in there? Anyway, with all these amazing little anchor stones, we could go to Grapes, go to Straub's Getaway, Bayani's or Will's, Kermit's Place. <gasps> Kermit's Place is the best, let's be honest. But anyway, we're going to go to Bayani's and Will's because our victim lives not too far away from there. Okay, hopefully, I think they have an ender chest here. Do you have an ender chest? I would like to be able to put this back where it belongs. What the heck is this? A freaking safe. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Where's your ender chest at? I don't see it. Dang it. Okay. Well, in order to get back home, we might have to set up like a portal or something. Okay, anyway, let's get on out of here. Let's fly on over to... Mr. H-Bombs. I think he lives right on over here to this village. Woohoo, should be fun. Oh, I found the ender chest. I found the ender chest. We can put that back. Awesome, let's go. Oh, dude, you've got to be kidding me. He joins right as we're about to prank him. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, maybe we might be able to do this, like, secretively. ba -dum, ba -dum. Da -da -da. We gotta put on our freaking... Do we have like a James Bond costume? Do we have like a spy hat? What, what kind of hats do we have? Whoa, 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 wait, I have an even better idea. Why don't we go in as like a freaking pig or something? Dude, yes! This is gonna be great! We can go in, no, if, if we go in as like a hostile mob, he'll freaking kill us. Let's go in... We could go in as just a freaking villager. Be all inconspicuous. Here we go, yeah, yeah, let's get a villager going. All right, here we go. We're gonna go in to Mr. H Bombs, undercover. <laughs> All right, we're not too far away from him. Hopefully, he doesn't see us flying around. My goodness. Okay. Got a nice little ooh, witch bombers. Oh, he's already took them. Dang it. Is there any goodies? Any goodies? Nope, no goodies. All right, so we are here at H Bombs Village. Um, now, originally, I was gonna lay down like a giant fence around his area just so that the prank could be contained but now that he's here I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that wait where the heck did all of his villagers go did he murder all of his villagers what the heck I'm like the only villager here <laughs> what in the world oh he left oh he left oh thank the lord okay sweet Okay, so this is H-Bomb's place. He has been working with Thumbcraft and stuff. I think that's what this is over here. This is for making, like, cool little thingamajiggers and Thumbcraft. And what the heck is that? I don't even know. All right, so this is his main setup. Um, he's got this village over here. We're going to... We're going to repopulate it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's head on over. Maybe... Yeah, okay, we're actually going to build ourselves a border around this thing so that the village... No, 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 we don't need a border. Let's just set this up. I don't think the villagers will escape or despawn or anything. I'm pretty sure they'll just hang around the village as the villagers tend to do that. Alrighty. Let's freaking do this. This should be fun. Oh, man, oh, man, I might actually have to freaking go back to my house. Dang it, I don't think I configured the ender tank. Um, oh, man, I want to get this right. Is the pink one there? I don't know where the pink one's at. Come on, please be at my house. <gasps> oh, okay, we're, we're down in the basement. All right, that's good enough. Okay, so first things first, we gotta change this so that it stops putting the essence into there. We just right click that bad boy. And then we gotta get some buckets and fill this thing up. So let's get ourselves just a couple buckets. Now, last time I did this, all my buckets freaking disappeared. Yeah, they, they don't freaking pop up. Oh, that's annoying as crap. Okay, I got one bucket. For now. I know there's they're still in my inventory, but they just... Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll just put that in there and that in there and that and that and that. We're going to be using as much mob essence as we can, so... Oh, what the heck? Where'd they go? No, stop doing that. Dang it. Dang it. I put it all in the freaking tank again. Darn it. Okay. We're going to fill this up. I will see you guys back at H-Bombs once this thing is full. Oh, it's, it's going to be full in just a second. 
No need to cut the footage, Kermit. Yeah. All right, that thing is full. We should put those buckets back in there. Nice. Back to H bombs we go. And we should be at H bombs. Yay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get our full freaking Ender tank, our hardened energy conduit storage cell thing. And okay, okay. So that should be on fill mode. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Is this on giving energy mode? It is. It is on give energy mode. Oh yeah. So hopefully, if we just stand back a little bit. We should just we're just doing we're just doing H bomb a nice little favor here. Yeah. We're just gonna be uh, repopulating his village. No problem. Well, let's just push these villagers off. Actually, go away. Go away, you stupid villagers. Get off the roof. You're taking up spawn spaces. Get off the roof. You stupid poops. All right, so I'm going to leave this running for a little bit, and I will see you guys. Here, let's just pick up the villagers with my poor gun. I will see you guys in a little bit once this thing is, once we're done repopulating. Huh. <laughs> All righty, well, I'm pretty sure the ender tank is running out of uh, mob essence, but I think I think we can call this mission success. We might actually, here, here, here this is what we're going to do. We're going to turn this off. We're gonna run on back, and we're gonna do it again. We're gonna fill up that ender tank one more time, and just let it run until it dries out once more, so that we're gonna have double the, oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be so good. I am so happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many freaking villagers. Oh my lord, look at them all. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Let's get our wrench. Make sure we don't lose our battery power. We're gonna take all of this stuff. And we're just going to move it over. I don't want to trample his crops with the villagers. I don't know if they'll trample his crops, so we might avoid that. We don't want to freaking land. Ooh. We don't want to land in the ravine either. Right. We don't want all the villagers to freaking get sucked in the ravine. That would suck. So maybe we should go over here, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. We might just go on this roof. Nah, they'll get all they'll all get freaking stuck. Let's just go over here. That is good enough. That's a nice little area. Maybe like right here. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is perfect. Perfect. Let's just put that there. That there. Um is it getting energy? I think so. Get the ender tank. Boom, boom. Boom, and, whoop, oh, whoop, oh, what the heck, boom. All right, should be going, should be going, there you go. I want to make sure this is actually getting energy. It is not, of course not. What the heck, what the F, there you go. Sweet, we're just going to leave this one running for a little bit more. <laughs> oh my goodness, I wonder if any of them actually have good trades. What we should have done? Oh, yeah, some of these guys have pretty good trades. Uh, what we should have done is, like, found just a really just shitty villager. And then just spawned a ton of exact copies of him. My goodness, that would have been amazing. Like, just a villager that just is absolutely poop. I don't know if these villagers are more poopy than other villagers. Oh, that's a pretty good one. It's pretty good. Ooh, diamond chest plate, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, bread. Nice. I mean, I guess most of these villagers are pretty freaking useless. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, these guys. Oh, we should have just made a freaking crap ton of Elvises. Oh, <laughs> that would have been amazing. Can you imagine, H-Bomb, if you just came back and there's just Elvises everywhere? <laughs> oh, my lord. Okay, well, this thing should still be running, hopefully. Come on, guys. Get going. Get going. I believe in you. I believe you. Um, I don't know if they're all just, like, wandering on over there. They might be. They might just all kick it around, like, the center of the village. Because that's what villagers do, I think. Oh, look at this little area. Oh, we could have repopulated over here as well. Oh, no, it's not too late! It's not too late. Nah, I think we're just gonna leave it here. I think we're freaking set for a while. Alrighty, we're just gonna leave this for a little bit more. 
and I will see you guys back when that ender tank is full. I'm gonna go look for a comment, and I will see you guys in a little bit. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, damn right. It's better than y'all's, damn right. It's better than y'all's if you want it. I'll have to charge with something. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. yeah I'll give you guys a couple more twerks. Get a look, get a good look at the booty while you can. It's not gonna be around town for much longer. Okay, there we go. All right, everybody be happy. Okay, here, let's get out of here. Alrighty. So yeah, mission accomplished. Mission a freaking accomplished. The village is now one big happy family. And that's all we wanted. We just wanted everybody to be happy. And that's, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure all those villagers are much happier now that they are forced into a tiny village to live in neck to neck living quarters. Yeah, okay, let's get out of here. Don't forget to not leave evidence. We want to get rid of the portal at H-Bomb's place so that he can't be like, let's just see where this portal goes and pop on back to my place. And then he'd be like, oh, thanks, Kermit. Thanks a whole lot. All right, let's go put this charge back on the, what the heck? It's too dark. There you go. Okay. Alrighty, guys, it is time to rock out. Yeah. I've got my nice little headphones on. Looking pretty snazzy. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, it is actually time for story time. It's story time, guys, it's story time. Uh, this question comes from somebody I actually see, I see her comments a lot on my videos. I'm pretty sure I see her tweet at me a lot too. Anyway, uh, dear Mr. Frog, are you going to add any more series to your channel besides Cube SMP and Cube Evolution? Well, Miss Courtney, that is a brilliant question, and I have no idea. So, I'm going to put down a, uh, a straw poll down in the description, um, and it's going to ask you guys a question similar to this. It's going to ask you guys, uh, what series, what other series did you guys, did you guys want to see on my channel? Do you guys want to see something like, like a faction series? I don't know if I'm ever going to do a faction series, but I'm just throwing ideas. A faction series, you know, a mini game series. Maybe a, uh, a solo survival map series. Like, I don't really know what you guys want to see. So you guys have to let me know. And then with that information, I can then decide on maybe, maybe yes. Maybe I could add more series to the channel. Uh, but right now, I don't know. I, I personally am, com am comfortable with doing the SMP and the Evolution. And, you know, the offset mini game or the offset, you know, group event thing every now and then. But uh, if you guys want to see more of my channel... Definitely let me know by uh, answering the straw poll, and we could try to we could try to make that happen. I think that sounds like an awesome idea. Alrighty, well I hope you guys enjoy my answer. I hope you guys enjoy this freaking awesome ass episode. Holy moly! I just put it all in my editing software, and we're at like 55 or something minutes. Holy crap! <laughs> I don't think there's like all of that footage. That's good footage. I don't know if I'm gonna edit any of it down. So I hope you guys enjoy the uh, very long episode today, episode 20, longer episode for you guys. I hope you guys have fun with it. Yeah, yeah, I had fun with it. It was a lot of fun for me to record. I'm in a good mood. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Uh. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Definitely leave a like, favorite, and a comment if you guys did. And I will see you guys in the next one. But no 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 oh man oh I wanted to rock out but no 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 yeah that's how I dance in normal life I just I just keep my feet still and I just freaking shake all over the place